You sit there in that chair all day. You don't move. What you been doing all day? Not nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. What you been doing with your time? Not nothing. I actually do want to be remembered for the works that I've done. I want to outlive my body and my flesh. My spirit has to work when I'm gone. That's what gives me drive. Most people don't know what they truly think because they're constantly influenced by everybody else. Right. Right. So anytime something happens, bro, what you think about this? Because they don't know how to think. Mm -hmm. Thinking is a deliberate action. Right. right. It, it's actually a skill mm -hmm. to actually know how to critically think, how to come up with more than one solution to a problem, how to be high level. Right. Most people are low level. Right. They they're, they're concerned with the details. They don't think in visions. They don't think in big pictures. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So like my whole entire vision right now is getting people on that high level journey. I didn't see men create businesses and armies and I didn't see that fail and fall because of ego. Huh. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody in my life got to have a value. You understand me? Like there's a value, a system attached to anything. Like imagine you got an army, you got men that don't serve a purpose. Why are they there? Like somebody asked me this question earlier. I'm like, look at the word distraction. It's distraction. Right. So you're not gaining traction talking to this person or indulging in this thing. I'm going to the club. It's a distraction. Why? Because it's not attached to my vision. Right. It's that simple. I'm talking to this person. They're not gaining. I'm getting no value from this. Not emotional, not spiritual, not financial. Right, nothing from this. Right. That's distraction. You understand me? Like the traction comes from I'm talking to somebody that giving me we we, we building with each other. We right. going on knowledge. It's going somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's a build. It's progress. Right. I, I talk about discipline is when you become a disciple of something. Okay. Right. Let's say you know if you want to change a particular aspect of your life. Now you can make you can make somebody you can become a disciple of something. Maybe they got the whole 360. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's somebody to say it's podcasting. Mm -hmm. Why do you get disciplined in podcasting? You can become a disciple of somebody that's already good at it, right? right. And you start taking on their habits. So when you're not doing that, you know when you're falling off. Right. But now I'm not being a good disciple, right? And mm -hmm. so for me, discipline is about being a good disciple of something. And so I got to think about, you know, it depends on what my vision is. Mm -hmm. Like every single day, I got to do something towards that vision. For me, it don't have to be a military stern type regiment, mm -hmm. right? right? I have things over my day. I have things over my years. You understand me? So... Let's say I got a I got a brand. So in the next few days, I got to design something for it. So I have to get the focus and the discipline to design for this. I'm cutting out everything else. I'm not, don't call me right now. I'm not going to answer. That's mm -hmm. part of my discipline. Right. You understand me? Because I know that a good designer will just focus in single tasks until they get this done. Right? So right. how do I know I'm disciplined is if I'm doing something progressively step by step towards that goal. People always say, where you get started? You get started with where you don't know. Or you get started with what you do know. It should never be a point where you don't know what to do next because mm -hmm. that just means you need to learn. Right. You understand me? That's a gap in knowledge, which means you can't take the next step until you learn. And then once you learn, you do. You feel me? So discipline is it, for me is that journey of being a disciple of what I want to become. Mm -hmm. You understand me on a daily basis. So ain't nobody harder on me than me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it ain't a comment you go put out there. It ain't like my shadow self is what I check daily. Because mm -hmm. I got to go home, look at myself, and be proud of the man in the mirror. That's a fact. Right? The world can, keys is this, that, and the third. None of that matters to me when I get home. And I'm standing in that mirror, and that's who I am, by myself. Nobody else is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I don't feel that same way, that I feel about myself, that the world feel about me, or better, it doesn't really don't matter what the world feel. But if you hear somebody saying something, and it's a disconnect, that's fake. That's why I say purpose. Like, what else I'm going to do with life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, what, what that's the for? way I look at it. Like, what else I'm going to do? Right. Like, mm -hmm. I don't believe in retirement. Like, life is meant, it's, 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 it's like time is motion. You know, a man don't do nothing with his time unless he make moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Like, you sit there in that chair all day, and you don't move. What you been doing all day? Not nothing. Mm -hmm. What you been doing with your time? Not nothing. nothing. What are you training so, your body to do? Yeah. Nothing. When I leave this earth, I want people to look at my moves and my motion. I happen to be the type of person that wants a legacy. Everybody don't. Right. So that's my personality type. That's my character. I actually do want to be remembered for the works that I've done. I want to outlive my body and my flesh. My spirit has to work when I'm gone. So that's part of the purpose. That's part Absolutely. of the Absolutely. That's what gives me drive. I just left Oakland. 99% of people that grew up like me ain't doing nothing what I'm doing whatsoever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Like, I believe that it's harder because of that. You know, it's like, when I think about the like the, the work that it takes mm -hmm. to be great, everybody want to be Michael Jordan. Everybody want to be Kobe. Right. Right? Everybody don't want that for them life, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody is meant to make it to whatever degree, right, that they have meant to make it to in their potential. Mm -hmm. It's your mind. Right, your awareness that you can be high level, 
right? It's your potential, your ability to bring out those skills. And then it's the transformation. It's the process of actually going through it. Right. Once I become aware of my own potential, I have to develop my mind to transform to that. That's the way my mind works. Okay. <laughs> Somebody else that's trying to, I don't believe in that whole idea of finding purpose. You realize your purpose through work. That's right. part of my next you know what I'm saying? It's right. a work ethic. There's so many people that don't have no work ethic. But there's a little piece that I feel like is missing from that is kind of kind of chasing, not chasing, but realizing your dreams and following that path. You find your purpose along the way. Yeah, through the work. Because your, your dreams are going to give you something to, to aspire to. Right. And as you but create see, those habits to get to it, I don't know about that. you kind of find you don't think so? No, I agree with you, but mm -hmm. I know a lot of, which is where I was going with the, the last part of the question. Mm -hmm. How do you, how would someone discover what their purpose is? This video is sponsored by Eve Rabash's Patreon. I can tell you guys, content creation is a game changer. But the thing is, you gotta be patient. You gotta be able to put in the work day after day, time after time, in order to get what you want in life. I've really looked at my experience, I've looked at what I've gone through, and I'm like, you know what? I can start helping people now. I can help people become content creators because I have found so many gems, so much knowledge. I mean, come on, the record speaks for itself. You go head out on my YouTube channel and you see what I'm doing out there. We are doing numbers, YouTube shorts are going crazy. My vlogs are going crazy, dropping every single day. I love you guys, man. I want you to grow. I want you to see a pathway for yourself. There's no limit to what you can achieve and where you are going. And if you're really serious about content creation, if you're really serious about being a YouTuber, I got the gems and I'm giving them away on my Patreon. For me, the formula mm -hmm. of purpose is simple. It's drive plus passion. Okay. You understand me? What do you have a drive for? What do you have a passion for? Mm -hmm. What are you good at? What do you like to do? What will you do for free? Yeah. You understand okay. me? Okay. Good question. Function meets purpose, right? So like, once you find out what you're good at, that's your function. Mm -hmm. That's what that skill is designed to do. That's your purpose. You get a remote control, what is the purpose of it? To control the TV, mm -hmm. right? Why? Because that's its function. That's what it does. So, you know, if, if you study yourself, because I don't believe in generalization, I believe in customization. When you study yourself, you start to know who you are. That's why Unblage Muhammad said knowledge yourself was key, mm -hmm. right? So what's your personality type? What's your intelligence type? What are the skills? What is the way that you learn? What are the things that make you happy? What gives you the most focus and flow? right mm -hmm. all of that is letting you know what you need to do and who you are yeah. it's because we went through this railroad education system and everybody thought that they were supposed to pick a couple of boxes for you know uh degrees and careers mm -hmm. that they've been sidelined for who they really are wow. the whole time yeah. mm -hmm. you understand right. me mm -hmm. social media gave people an outlet to really discover themselves right that kid in class that was told that he got adhd and can't focus because the curriculum didn't match any of his purpose and his mm -hmm. function and his drive he had no passion towards it he wasn't right. stupid Right. He didn't want to learn it, right? <laughs> right? right. He didn't want to be Period. a slave to bored. the system. Right. So then you give him the opportunity, put the camera in front of him, he's funny as hell. That makes him feel good. That makes him happy. He want to do this. He That's getting it. paid for it. He Boom. feels better about it. it. He learned those skills. That's he getting it. even happier. He going to do this for life. That's it right there. And I want to I add to that, right? Because when I was incarcerated, I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do. Mm. I had no idea. I said, yo, this is the last time I want to be in prison. I don't want to come back here, but I don't have a plan. I don't know what I'm going to execute when I walk out of here. Mm -hmm. And the thing is me having that thought process saying, I don't want to come back. I want to be free. I want to get out as soon as possible. That thought, that intention mm -hmm. led to something opening. I never thought in my mind five years ago, oh, I'm going to start a magazine while I'm in prison. Mm. I never thought about that. Mm -hmm. but but because I had that intention, I had that that thought, that spirit inside of me, like, yo, I need to do something to not come back. Right. The thought started coming. I started seeing things around me that was missing. I said, oh, dudes don't have access to the internet. This doesn't have this. This doesn't have that. What if we can provide that? So can I provide it from the side here? Right. You yeah. solved the issue. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Resilience. Yeah. Everybody ain't got that. Because that can be a test. Some people's dreams get killed because of those opinions. And some right. people don't give a damn about those opinions. It wasn't yours mm -hmm. in the first place. Nobody right. has nobody has to see your vision through but you. Nobody can see your vision but you. You can try to put it in other people's heads, but nobody go carry it to term. Mm -hmm. Right? Same mm -hmm. thing with a baby. Only one woman can carry that to term. That's the person who has the baby. Mm -hmm. For a man, his idea is his baby. That's mm -hmm. his vision. It ain't your job to carry it to term. It's my job to go through the pain, to go through the sickness, to go through whatever it is, bring it to birth, <coughs> take care of it. That's mine. That's what take care of me, mm -hmm. right? But 
I just wanna add one caveat to that as well. Like if you if you focus on service, because you talked about creating a solution, mm -hmm. the man who serves the world is the richest man. When you focus on creating and designing life, think about how can I serve? You understand me? Most mm -hmm. people, they focus on outcome and they want to be served. You mm -hmm. understand? They want to be rich. They want everybody to take pictures of them and love them. They want to be served. They don't want to get no service. The sexy jobs. Right. Yeah. You want the sexy jobs. I want to add to, I think some people just don't, they don't listen to themselves anymore. Mm -hmm. They've been discouraged too much. Completely agree. And they, you know, they, they'll have an idea. I, yeah, I got this three second rule, right? And it ain't about food touching the floor. <laughs> I'll ask you a question. Yeah. And I'll tell you to answer it as fast as possible because that's the honest answer. Mm. This video is sponsored by Eve Rabash's Patreon. Your mind is like a muscle. You got to do the same thing. You have to rip yourself out of the old way that you was thinking mm -hmm. to change mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. You actually have to redesign the pathways in your mind. Your brain has like millions of those and is a path that you've been taking that's natural to you, but it's not gonna get you where you need to go. So you gotta walk in another direction enough times to create a better path, a, a more prevalent path that you're gonna continue to go to as a habit from then on. Facts. 21 days to create a new habit. 21 that's days. That's what it takes. Figure out what well, you, you know, do. Well, you know, I always it's say- It's more than that. It's, I, well, I, 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 I understand generally. the science behind 21 days and it's true, mm -hmm. but I like the mindset of it takes one day. It's the day you start and the day you don't quit. Right. Mm, I agree. The difference is the person that has the discipline and the control over themselves, when they start something, they don't quit it. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand me? And so you go through it 100%. Most people, if you give yourself a directive and an order right now today, you can't follow through with it 100%. So the question then becomes, if I don't control me, who controls me? What has control over me? So the greatest fight that a person is trying to figure out, how do I control myself? Cause I'm brilliant, I'm smart as hell, I got all this knowledge. I could be strong as hell, but I don't have control over myself. Mm. But if I could control my own avatar, <clears throat> body, mind, brilliance, the way I speak, communicate, build up my skills, and I could take right. over the world. Yeah. So the war that, the war that most people fighting is the war of self-control. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so sometimes when a person can't control themselves, they try to manipulate others. Right. You understand me? They want other people to do what they can't do for themselves. It's like, nah, my whole war, I ain't never been to war with nobody greater than myself. Cause all of this shit is internal. Cause I know, like we talk about that, that mind equal potential awareness transformation. Once you become aware of your potential, you understand me? You now are responsible for, are you going to live it out? Right. Now, when a person knows that you imagine right now, you can imagine what's the greatest version of myself. I mean, like just, just go crazy in your own imagination. Yeah, he balling he out, like? got money, you got you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Swole, got like a helicopter, you know, got like everything. Suit he got on, you know, morally uh -huh. defined, disciplined, focused. Like, bro, it's different. Yeah, if you can see it, that means it's power. That means that that's a real potential. Whatever you just seen in your head. Right now, you got a responsibility of saying that. Damn, will I become that person? Will I stay who I am? Maybe I reach 50% of that vision, right? Right. But then there are some people, they're not happy with life until they become 100% of that. And when they become that person, that person has another vision, right? So they just keep breaking shells, keep breaking Break shells. shells. Yeah. You seen Jay-Z when he was, you know, a drug dealer. Then you see Jay-Z when he got with Beyonce. Then you see Jay-Z, he got the Bosque out. Mm -hmm. He's going through different iterations of different visions that he see for himself. Right. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to see it or like it. But when a person has a vision for themselves about their potential, mm -hmm. They go through that journey of transformation. If you follow that, it's the coldest formula of the life. Today I got time. Got time. Just a young and put of work, I'm on my grind, yeah. Training and I'm working part time. So when I hit the league, best believe I'm gonna shine, yeah. I've been in the shade for a while now. I've been cooking up, trying to make the fan proud. 25 and I gotta be the man now. I've been tucked, but it's time for me to stand.